The day before, what is it and is it any good? Well, I can tell you what it's not, and that's an open world zombie survival game. Now, I wasn't following along with the development of the day before. I had heard about it a couple years ago, and then it pretty much left my radar until a couple of days ago when the devs sent me two copies of the game, one of which I will be giving away in this video. But apparently, the game was marketed as a genre-defining, revolutionary, open world zombie survival MMO. So you would think of games like DayZ or Scum or Miscreated, but that's not what this game is. It's an extraction shooter like Tarkov with zombies. You leave a safe location to do quests and get loot, and then you have to extract before getting killed and losing everything. Let me go through my experience playing it for the first time, and then I'll give you my thoughts. First thing I did was create a character. You can choose from three different classes. You've got Roamer, Pathfinder and Ghost each come with three traits which are essentially three little buffs and then you go through the basic stuff skin tone body type hair makeup tattoos it's actually not bad it looks pretty good now that I had a character it was time to join a server so I went to North America of course because that's where I'm from but literally every server was full which uh, the game had just come out so I understand but the thing is they don't fucking tell you how many players can be in each server and let me tell you after playing it for a bit i don't think it's that many because even high populated servers that i got into i didn't come across many people uh as you can see i had um numerous connection issues matter of fact my first time playing i could not get into a north america server i had to actually play on a server in asia that was the only one i was able to get into so after you get into a server with a new character, you got to go through the whole intro, which takes about 20 minutes or so. You wake up in front of this doctor, he tells you that you were all fucked up, they brought you into Woodbury, healed you up, and now this is your new home. Basically, you're fucking sloth from the Goonies, and Woodbury is chunk. You're gonna live with me now. The doctor gives you a bunch of supplies, a backpack, water, food, a battery, first aid, and then he sends you on your way. Inside Woodbury, there's uh, the leader, which if you ever go anywhere and there's someone called the leader, just get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. There is a weapons trader where you can buy or sell weapons, weapon attachments, ammo, armor, or sell the guy any junk you find in the world. There's a storage keeper where you can store all your shit safely. You don't got to worry about it getting stolen. There is a bar where you can buy food and drink because there are survival elements. You do have to eat and drink while you're playing the game and there's a doctor where you can get medical treatment or pick up you know first aid supplies oh and there's a gym too in case you want to work out because that's fun i love working out so much in the real world that i want to do it in video games too and there's a sauna in case you want to get sucked off by a guy because that's pretty much all that happens in saunas so after you spend nine hours in the sauna, you go to the workbench with the gun and the gun parts that the guns and ammo guy gave you, and you put together your first weapon. And then it's almost time to play the game. Now after you talk to everybody at Woodbury, they send you here to your very own settlement where you can live all by yourself forever. Which actually sounds pretty good. Uh, you gotta build yourself a tent, and then eventually you can turn that tent into a house, and then you can furnish your house with a bunch of stuff from the catalog, which of course costs money which you earn from playing the game. So it's actually kind of cool. So if you earn enough money, instead of just buying more guns and more ammo and better armor, you can buy stuff for your home. You can get a nice couch. Now, I think this is worth noting. When I was done with the intro, before I had a chance to play the actual game, I had to back out to do something. And when I came back in, I had to fucking do the whole intro all over again. But they gave me another backpack. The doctor gave me, like, all the same loot again. They even gave me a second gun. So I basically got everything all over again. So I guess if you want to fucking deal with having to do the intro over and over again, you can, like, have infinite loot. For now, anyway, until they fix that. If they're ever going to fix that. So I got my tablet again and decided to do my first job. I mean, you don't have to do a job. You can just venture out into the world and loot and then extract if you want. But I figured I'd do this job for Ed. He wanted me to find three walkie-talkies. Ed is the guy who runs the guns and ammo store. Now, if you hit track on it, it will show you the area you need to go to on the map to try and find 
whatever they want you to find. In this case, it's three walkie-talkies. And FYI, all the jobs right now are exactly that. They tell you the things they want you to find, they tell you where they, those things are on the map, and you gotta go out, get them, and bring them back. Of course, you can find additional loot while you're doing that. You could kill other players and take their loot. And then uh, when the job is done and you're satisfied with the amount of loot you have, you have to find an extraction point and get the hell out of there before you get killed and lose everything. So, that's what this game is. It's an extraction shooter. It is not an open world zombie survival MMO. I mean, I guess you can call it an open world. This is the world, New Fortune City, but it's not a very big map. They make it seem like it's big, but it's not. This should just be like one of the maps. If that's what this game's gonna be, an extraction shooter, it needs some work, but I think it could be a pretty decent extraction shooter, but that's not the game they marketed, and that's why everyone's so fucking pissed off. People were expecting a revolutionary open-world zombie survival MMO, and that's not what they got. Now, there's no vaulting uh, or jumping over anything, pretty much, uh, at the moment, which I know PUBG launched with no vaulting and eventually added it in, so hopefully that gets added in the future, because right now it's a bit ridiculous. There are certain areas in the map, it just makes no sense why you can't just fucking lift yourself out of or, or vault over uh, a box or anything like that. I found a UMP right off the bat here, um, which I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet, you know? Fucking little submachine gun, as soon as I spawned in the world, I was almost tempted to extract and go throw that thing into storage. Now, most of the buildings are locked up and you can't get inside. There are a few locations you can get in, like little stores. Uh, there was a big building I was able to get in, but it was just like the lobby. And that was as far as you were able to go. So, certain places you can get into. I found a couple of locked doors that said they required a key. I don't know where you get those keys. If you find them in loot, or maybe you buy them from someone at Woodbury. Looting can be a bit of a pain in the ass. You gotta get that F icon to be able to loot. So you're like spamming F to try and fucking loot shit. And uh, it could take you a minute. And you're obviously the most vulnerable when looting stuff from other players. So that's a problem. That shit needs to be fixed. I should just be able to press F anywhere on a container that can be looted. And I should be able to start looting it. I shouldn't have to fucking try so hard to find that icon. You know, here's a little pharmacy that's open. Uh, with some stuff you can search. Now that container I started looting very easily. I just pressed F and it started looting right away. So it's not a pain in the ass all the time, but sometimes it is. So that just needs to be addressed. Here's one of those doors I was talking about that requires a key. But again, I'm not sure where you find those keys. Probably just in a random loot container, I would imagine. I spotted this poor bastard getting chased by a zombie, and it didn't look like he had a gun, so I decided to help him out. Because there's no melee in the game, which is complete bullshit. You should be able to defend yourself even with your fists, you know? It's kind of silly that you can't. Eh, but once he pulled out a pistol and started shooting, I decided, I'll just get the hell out of here. He didn't shoot at me, so I wasn't going to shoot at him. Pretty much every zombie I encountered was alone and easy to deal with. Matter of fact, the biggest group of zombies I saw together was just two. So, there are no zombie hordes or anything. At least there aren't right now. I mean, right now, the zombies aren't the threat. The threat is when you shoot a zombie and other players hear your gunshots and they come for you. That's the real threat. Other players. You can loot zombies, though, after you kill them. You'll see here I have a little bit of trouble finding that search icon again, which can definitely uh, get you killed. That zombie had a little bit of ammo. Now, I am in the area where the job wanted me to go. So now what I have to do is just search a bunch of uh, random containers until I happen to find what the job wants me to find, which in this case, it is three walkie-talkies. The first one I found was in this box. Now, this was the first time I played the game, so I thought I had to look for more of those boxes, but you can find... Uh, the items you're looking for in any random container could be in a car, could be in some trash, you never know. I killed a zombie just out in the middle of the street for no reason, probably could have just ran away. I also heard gunshots in the distance, so I was really playing sloppy here. Matter of fact, 
Not long after searching this zombie, I decided to search a garbage truck and got murdered. After getting killed, I spawned back in Woodbury with nothing. But luckily, I played through the intro twice, so I had some extra food and drink and first aid and an extra gun in storage. So I went and picked that stuff up and I had a little bit of money too, so I was able to buy some more ammo. Bought some light body armor too. My next venture out into the world was a success. Found all three walkie-talkies, one of them in a mailbox, second one in a garbage can, and the third one was in another mailbox. After that, I made my way to the nearest extraction point, which was just north of the city in a little suburb area. Keep an eye out for the red smoke, that is the extraction point. You want to be careful in this area though, because other players are motherfuckers and they'll camp this area, waiting for someone to come along wanting to extract, kill you and take all your shit. Luckily, I didn't have that problem this time. I made it out of here safely. You just come on over to the red smoke, hold down F, and you can return to Woodbury. Stay still. Our boys are on their way. When I got back, I threw some stuff in storage that I figured I might need later on, like ammo and food. Then I went to see Ed, told him I completed the task, and he gave me my reward, which was a thousand bucks. And then I sold them all the junk I had on me, because I got no use for it. And that's it. That's the game. Now you uh, open up your tablet, take another job, go back out in the world, and do it all over again. This guy, Mike, he wants me to find some batteries. Now, there is a day-night cycle in the game, because when I ventured out to do this job for Mike, it was nighttime, which made things kind of interesting. But anyway, listen. Here's my take on the game. I played it for a couple of hours, I did a couple of missions, and I had fun. I even tweeted, just finished my second recording session with the day before, and I already want to get back in there. But then I got back in there. And after, like, my third or fourth hour with the game, it already was getting very repetitive. So, in terms of what the game is, an extraction shooter, it needs a lot. You need to add vaulting in the game. You need to fix looting. You need to add more maps than just this map. There needs to be different quests available, not just go find me this stuff and bring it back here. You know, boss fights would be cool. Maybe there's a giant boss zombie somewhere and you got to go kill it. I don't know, but there needs to be different types of quests to keep the game from getting stale fast. Now, what they sold the game as, that's a completely different story. It is not a revolutionary open-world zombie survival MMO. It's just not. Now, a lot of people were calling this game a scam, and I gave some people shit for calling it a scam prior to release. I'm like, what are you talking about? How is it a scam? They didn't take anyone's money. It's not like it's Dead Matter, where they took four million fucking dollars and didn't do anything. But now... I see that they are, the developers are scrubbing their social media of videos that were promoting this game as an open world zombie survival MMO. They've locked their discord, keeping people out of it. So that kind of seems a little scammy to me. So I would be careful with this game. Me personally, I'm kind of over it already. I don't think I'll be playing it again, but if you want to play it for free, you can, if you're quick. Here is a free Steam key for the game. Better hurry on over there and try and grab it before someone else does. Anyway, that's going to be it for me and this video and this game. I really didn't want to spend the whole video just shitting all over this game. I tried to make it as informative as possible, so I hope you got something out of it. Thank you guys so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more, and I will catch you guys in the next video.